Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Colonel Jean Baptiste Bagaza. Colonel Jean Baptiste Bagaza, a Burundian army officer and politician, was born on the 29th of August 1946. He ruled Burundi as president and de facto military dictator from November 1976 to September 1987. Bagaza was born in Rutovu, Bururi province in Belgian ruled Rwanda, Urundi. He was from the ethnic Hima, part of the wider Tusi ethnic group. He studied in some Catholic schools in Bujumbura, formerly known as Usumbura, the largest city and main port of Burundi. He then got enlisted in the army of the newly independent Kingdom of Burundi at the time. As a result of his enlistment, he was sent to Belgium in 1966 to study at the Royal Military Academy in Brussels. Bagaza returned to Burundi in 1972 and was appointed adjunct chief of staff of the Burundian military. His appointment was partly based on his education and experience in the military, however, largely based on his family's connection with the first president of Burundi, General Mikel Mukumberu, who was also from Rutovu. Four years after his appointment, Bagaza, who was already a lieutenant colonel, overthrew Mikumberu in a bloodless military coup on the 1st of November 1976. Following the coup, there was a temporary suspension of the constitution by the military junta, which comprised a 30-member Supreme Revolutionary Council. Nine days after the coup, Bagaza was declared president, so his regime began on the 10th of November 1976. Bagaza was particular about reforming Burundi after his ascension to power. He passionately tackled corruption and though he was a Tusi, he made Burundi favorable for the Hutu tribe who had suffered gross discrimination during Mikumbero's regime. Bagaza also encouraged the return of Hutu refugees who were on exile in Zaire and Tanzania where they escaped to during the Mikumbero caused genocide in 1972. Amid Bagaza's effort to liberate the Hutus, it was obvious that he ensured the Tutsis remained economically dominant. In 1977, Bagaza abolished Burundi's feudal system of land tenure, known as Ubugererwa. He also embarked on economic modernization to foster the emergence and survival of small-scale farmers. Bagaza also constructed roads connecting Bujumbara, Burundi's capital at the time, to interior areas in the country. He invested in electricity and drinking water. Furthermore, he developed a port on Lake Tanganyika, linking Burundi's economy with that of neighboring Tanzania. In 1981, Bagaza's regime introduced a new constitution that made Burundi a one-party dictatorship under the Union for National Progress, a political party he organized. In 1984, he was re-elected president with 96.6% of the national vote. Shortly after the 1984 election, Bagaza launched a military operation against the Catholic Church in Burundi. The church suffered subsequent attacks as Bagaza's regime got more repressive. This led to the expulsion and voluntary relocation of many foreign missionaries. Bagaza even made efforts to break the church's influence on the Burundian education system. While on a trip to Quebec, Canada for a conference in September 1987, Bagaza's regime got the post in a military coup d'etat led by Pere Buyoya who declared himself president, forcing Bagaza into exile in Uganda. Bagaza later headed to Libya where he was till 1993. After leaving Libya, Bagaza played a key role in the coup d'etat against Melchor Ndadaye, Burundi's first democratically elected president. Despite Ndadaye's death, power was still returned to a civilian democratic government, which made the coup fail. Though the coup failed, Bagaza attempted to return to Burundian politics in 1993 
and the following year found the Party for National Recovery, a political party that was Tusi dominated. Being a former head of state, Bagaza was a senator for life. He became popular for his extreme views such as the opposition of power-sharing agreements with Hutu factions. He also advocated the division of Burundi into Tusi land and Hutu land. Bagaza's extremism grew wild to the point that he was placed under house arrest for the possession of weapons for a plot against Buyoya. After two months, the house arrest got changed to a prison sentence before he got released shortly after. Bagaza and his political party became more persistently about opposing the implementation of power-sharing deals with Hutu rebels and this got him under house arrest again alongside a ban on his party, the Party for National Recovery, from November 2002 to May 2003. In 2010, Bagaza ran as his party's candidate for the presidential election but withdrew his candidature when the Burundian opposition boycotted the elections. In 2014, he stepped down as head of the Party for National Recovery and was succeeded by Zenon Nimbona. Bagaza remained the main opposition leader in the Burundian Senate and joined the opposition boycott of the 2015 elections. He was married to Fausa and they had four daughters. Bagaza died in Brussels on the 4th of May 2016 and was buried in Bujumbura on the 17th of May 2016. Did you know Bagaza, who was an army logistics officer at the time, was involved in Mikombero's genocidal killings of ethnic Hutu in 1972? Despite his extremism and anti-government activities, Bagaza was involved in the peace talks which were targeted to end the Burundian 1993 to 2005 civil war. What have we missed out of this biography of Bagaza? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.